we must never follow false leaders and teachers. Indeed, we must run away from them. Millions of people worldwide continue to suffer because of the coronavirus. At the same time, violent conflicts have greatly escalated in many areas and countries of the world. I think about Hong Kong, the Middle East, Africa, Latin America, and the George Floyd protests in the United States and in other Western countries. Christians need to stand and fight for justice, peace, and freedom for all peoples and races in every country. But we need to keep in mind that we do so because of God and because of His love for human beings whom He created equal and in His image and likeness. Justice, peace, and freedom are God's values first and foremost. I say this because everyone claims that they are fighting for justice, peace, and freedom. And there are many who are truly and sincerely fighting for what is good. But sadly, there are so many more who are lying and insincere. Last Sunday, we meditated on God's Word in John chapter 10, verses 10 and 11. In verse 5 of the same passage, Jesus tells us that the thief and the robber that he's talking about is a stranger. And he says that God's sheep will never follow a stranger. Instead, they will run away from him because they don't recognize the voice of strangers. Are you following false leaders and teachers? Are you following false advocates of justice, peace, and freedom? Now remember that there are false leaders and teachers among those who are on the left and those who are on the right. In the Philippines, remember that there are false leaders and teachers among those who are pro-administration and there are also false leaders and teachers among those who are in the opposition. In the United States, remember that there are false leaders and teachers among the Democrats, and there are also false leaders and teachers among Republicans, and there are also false leaders and teachers who are independent. Yes, Christians must be engage in social and political matters. And yes, we Christians must use our God-given right and privilege to vote. This is part of our calling from God to be salt and light in society. But God's Word also tells us that we must discern false leaders and teachers, and we must never follow them. Indeed, God's word tells us that we must run away from false leaders and teachers, whether they are on the left or whether they are on the right. So who should we follow then? Jesus tells us in John chapter 10 verse 4 that God's sheep follow the good shepherd because they recognize his voice. God's word is clear and straightforward. We must never follow false leaders and teachers, and we must run away from them. Instead, we must follow Jesus, the good shepherd. Are you following false leaders and teachers? 
Are you following strangers and thieves who still kill and destroy? Jesus says that you need to run away from them. Avoid them. Disassociate with them. God's word tells us in Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21 that the acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, promiscuity, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and other sins like these. Paul says, I warn you as I did before that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. We need to ask ourselves individually if we are practicing these things. At the same time, we also need to ask ourselves if we are following people who practice such things. For application to our present situation of conflict and violence, let me highlight the words hatred, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy. Is your life characterized by hatred, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy? Are you following people whose lives are characterized by hatred, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy? God's word says that you need to run away from those people. Avoid them. Disassociate with them. And you need to follow Jesus. He is the good shepherd who gave his life on the cross to pay for sins. He is the only one who can set you free from the slavery of sin and its curse. He is the only one who can set you free from the lies and deceptions of false leaders and teachers. And He is the only one who can produce the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in your heart, in your mind, and in your life. Let us pray. God, we are all sinners. We are all guilty of many sins and wrongdoings against you and against our fellow human beings. Today, hatred, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy are rampant all over the world. Lord, we are all guilty of these sins and more, and we lack the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Please forgive us. Please change us. Please save us. God, thank you for Jesus. He is the good shepherd who gave his life on the cross to pay for our sins. He is the only one who can set us free from the slavery of sin and its curse. 
Jesus is the only one who can set us free from the lies and deceptions of false leaders and teachers. And Jesus is the only one who can produce the fruit of the Spirit in our hearts, minds, and lives. Lord, I pray for those who do not believe in you. Without you, they are slaves of sin and its curse. They are blinded and enslaved by the lies and deceptions of false leaders and teachers. God, have mercy on them and save them. Please help them to repent of sin and please set them free from the lies and deceptions of false leaders and teachers. Help them to leave those people. Help them to run away from them. And Lord, please help them to believe and follow Jesus. Change their hearts. Change their minds. And change their lives. Give them your free gifts of new life and eternal life in the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I also pray for us Christians all over the world. Help us to recognize false leaders and teachers and help us to stay away from them. And Lord, please help us also to guide and lead those who are blinded and enslaved by false leaders and teachers. Help us to lead them to Jesus, our Good Shepherd, our Savior, and our King. In His name I pray, Amen and Amen.